Hey, kid. Huh. You want to see a trick? <laughs> Hello and welcome to Nine Clues to the Ward. This is Jewel Smith, and today is Try It Tuesday, the day when I try out games I have never played before. Last week, I played the first game in this series, Nine Clues, The Secret of Serpent Creek. And it was really cool. I had a great time playing it. It was an interesting story, and so I wanted to continue and find out what happens next. And this game, Nine Clues 2, which came out in 2015, uh, it was only 99 cents on Steam. It's 90% off until July 7th, 2022. So you've got a little bit of time to go and grab this for yourself if you're interested. Uh, it's a hidden object puzzle adventure developed by Tappet Games in Poland and published by Artifacts Monday. I play a lot of Artifacts Monday games and I do enjoy them. So I'm looking forward to this. Let's check it out. Private investigators, what can I do for you? It's coming! It knows! Please, help us! Hi! New case, gear up. Is that Owen? From the first game? Oh, we're almost there. I've heard Manemo Sign Asylum is totally self-sufficient. Nemeson. This is where I trace that weird phone call we received. You get any leads on who might have placed it? I guess we're the only ones getting on the island rather than off it. Hope we make it indoors before the storm hits. I don't need a quick tutorial. I know how this works. It's not my first rodeo. Ring the gate. You have better social skills than I do. Yeah, that sounds like a different voice. It doesn't sound like Owen. I mean, it looks like him a little bit, but I don't think it is. I, I don't know. It's hard to recognize him without his green Hawaiian shirt from the first game. Uh, the voice of the protagonist doesn't sound the same as the previous game either. I mean, maybe it's still meant to be the same person, but they just had to hire a different voice actor. I, I don't know, but uh, that's all right. I guess we'll find out more as we play. Let's see here. Oh, it is Owen. Okay. Owen Duffer. My boss is XMI6. He quit the forest after a mysterious case in Serpent Creek. Now we both work as private detectives. Ah, oh, cool. Yeah, Owen almost got killed. We had to rescue him. He was bitten by a large poisonous snake and we had to make an antidote. We have a new case. We have to find the person who called for help. Alright, so that's our little detective notebook there. We'll probably find a map at some point so we can move around in the game, fast travel. July 13th, 1950. Can't tell the name on the grave, though. Maybe we'll be able to remove this rust or whatever it is and see the name. Mythological goddess of memory, worn down, but her shape is still recognizable. Guess the asylum is in bad shape. Oops. Oh, we broke it. Yes. Who is it? My colleague and I are private investigators. We'd like to speak to whoever's in charge around here. A private detective? One more, please. Let's go. Oh, well, that was easy. 
the personification of memory. All right. Oh, look, the E is falling off there. Fancy lock won't let me through. Wonder where this door leads to. That probably the basement or cellar. Probably something creepy. Ugh, oh, creepy. Those look nice. Yeah, little stained glass windows. Alright, let's get in out of the rain. My name is Claudia Kreutz. I am in charge of this asylum. Why are you here? I received a distress call from someone in your asylum. That is extremely unlikely. Oh my. No! I bet a month's salary he's the one that phoned me. Act one. Ooh, okay. Let's check things out. You said it was unlikely someone from here needed help. Because it is true. Now one of your employees is dead. Professor Crow? Jo Jonathan was my friend. I, I don't know what to say. Please, do your best and determine what happened. You must excuse me. I, I don't know what to think of all this. Well, let's start looking for clues. I deserve this. The pain, the punishment. His feeling of guilt was overwhelming. So was it a suicide? I'm seeing things. I believe what Gordon told me is coming for us all. There's a key here and there's a little picture of an ambulance. Oh, Crow's spare key. Okay. Bloody ID. Professor Jonathan Crow. Wonder what his job was here. What was Professor Crow's job? And who's Gordon? Professor Crow was our therapist. Gordon visited him once in a while. He, something about night terrors. I need to take a look in Professor Crow's office. Second floor, left wing. Just don't be too nosy. Go check the professor's office. I'll take care of the body and alert the authorities. Ooh, so it's a murder mystery. Ouch! Darn, I'm so clumsy. I'm blind without my glasses. Can you help me find them? Right there. Oh, one of the lenses fell out. Darn, I'm so clumsy. I'm blind without my glasses. Can you help me find them? Yep, there you go. Thank you. A wet floor can be treacherous. Why don't you try it? I heard someone scream. What happened? Professor Crow fell out a window. He didn't make it. Professor Crow is dead? Oh no. I... I don't know what to say. Entrance to the west wing is closed. Entrance to the east wing. There's no time for sightseeing. A small elevator. Wonder where it leads. Probably the second floor. I mean, you know, I'm just spitballing here, but... To Claudia. Due to deteriorating conditions in the asylum since the 1950 fire, we are canceling our father's therapy. Such an expensive facility should be able to provide safety and hospitality to its patients. In case of a fire, I know where to look for a fire extinguisher. Uh-oh, is there going to be a fire... Alright, we can't go anywhere else but up. Ooh, some scratches on the wall. Use in case of fire or run like crazy. We 
weird looking statue. Yeah, that is pretty weird. The door is locked by Crow himself before his death or by someone else. So the professor liked riddles. I need a key to solve this one. Oh, right. The spare key. Reach the hospital with the ambulance token by visiting each of the beacons along the way. Each beacon can be visited only once. Corridor locked, okay? Let's go into Crow's office. Hmm, this is more than a desperate person jumping out of a window. What happened here? Oh, it's time for detective mode. Welcome to the detective mode sequence. Your goal is to find trails and clues hidden across the scene. Your mouse cursor will flash when close to a trail. on the wall. There we go. Deep scratches. Now your task is to arrange the tiles with clues in the right order. Use their background as a hint. Oh, this is new. This is different. There was a detective mode in the first game, but I didn't have to arrange the clues. Right, I'm guessing we have to go by this little red line here. There we go. This is a retrospection. It shows the course of events connected with the clues you have found on the crime scene. Crow was sitting in his armchair. He had a box with him. Something happened. The professor drops the box on the floor. Someone enters the room leaving footprints. Crow grabs the telephone and throws it at the suspect, smashing the glass cabinet. He picks up his cane and takes a swing at the perp, but is overwhelmed. The cane smashes the glass table. The attacker comes closer and leaves deep cuts on the wall. Crow steps back. He throws a lamp between him and his opponent. Then, the professor falls out of the window. Was he pushed? The suspect approaches the couch and picks up the teddy bear? He rips off the toy's head and throws it near the armchair. Last, he cuts a name on the painting, Ginger. After leaving his message, the killer flees. This was no suicide. Why did the murderer write that name on the painting? New objective, the killer. All right, let's look around in the office. The bear's head is half burned. Zed Razkov. 
Notes. Patient since 1949. Highly intelligent. Pyromaniac. Megalomaniac. Oh. Maybe this is who set the fire. What in the world is this? Oh, it's a creepy doll. It's some kind of message. Guilty? Does it mean Professor Crow? Okay, so am I able to... Oh, there's something else here. What is that? What do we find? A mechanism cube. Okay. Can't take that with us, huh? Oh, there's Owen out there. There's another cube. Professor, I saw it. I saw the thing from my nightmares. It's coming for me. I need to hide. I need to disappear. Gordon. This guy sounds delirious. Is it possible he's the one who pushed the crow out the window? Well, that little picture looks just like the doll. I should report to Owen once I find more clues, okay? Ginger. Oh, it looks like there's something behind the painting. If only I could cut the picture away. Okay, we gotta find something to cut away the painting. Looks like a puzzle back there, and it's gonna involve these blocks. Owen's phone number. Yes, it is. Oh, there's the third block. Gordon Lefty. Employee since 1947. Anger issues, alcohol abuse, night terrors. The bear is in terrible shape. The scratch marks, they don't look human. Oh, there we go. A paper knife. An exacto knife. The phone did some heavy damage. Jonathan Crow, the degree of Doctor of Science, given by the National Psychology Academy in the year 1930 on the 12th of June. Alright, let's remove this picture. Now we have puzzle with cubes missing. Well, we have all the cubes. Arrange the cubes from left to right so each row forms a logical story. So... Uh-oh. Something's wrong. He's taken to the hospital. He's treated by the nurse and then he feels great. Okay. How about this one? He's unhappy. He sees a psychiatrist. He's prescribed medication, and now he's happy. Uh, the asylum is on fire. Let's start with the match. There's a match. The asylum is on fire. They put the fire out, and now it's in ruins. Okay. We have found a book. A photo of the little girl. Wonder who she was. June 26, 1954. Gordon was right. It's all my fault. If it wasn't for me, that poor girl would still be alive. We need to stop this. Ginger, forgive me. Uh-oh. Was Ginger killed in the asylum fire? June 27, 1954. I saw something last night. Could it be that a powerful force comes to punish us for Ginger's death? Did Gordon see it too? July 10th, 1954. After his session, Gordon left his key to the basement. He barely ever comes outside. I need to know what he's up to down there. A shovel key? Well, that's interesting. Okay. There's no telling what's inside that basement. I should investigate. Yes, indeedy. Can we take that picture now? Oh, that just closes. Okay.
We have probably found everything we need to find here. Let's head to the basement. Something's wrong with the lights. What the? What? What was that? Am I hallucinating? I think My head you were. feels like it's in a vice. Ah, uh, remember she was kind of gassed by that doll. So are we going to have hallucinations through the rest of the game now? That'd be pretty cool. There's like black things, spots floating before our eyes. Or is that just dirt from the ceiling? I don't know. It's not moving anymore. Good. Oh, you have found your first phantom object. There are 15 phantom objects lurking within the asylum walls. Find them all to unlock an achievement. Oh, there's Owen. Let's talk to him. This was no suicide. We may have a suspect. Who's Gordon? Gordon is our janitor. He used to visit Professor Crow for therapy. He recently suffered from night terrors. He's been acting strange. There was also a girl's name. Ginger. I'm sorry, but I don't know anyone by that name. Are you okay? You look pale. I had the strangest vision. Must be all the stress lately. Well, after witnessing what you did, who wouldn't? Mrs. Kreitz, I'd like my partner to search the facility. Oh, what choice do I have? Follow your gut. I'll stay here and try to get a hold of the authorities. Here is a map of the facility. Oh, there's the you map. You don't want to get lost around here. I'll take that. And now we have a map. Exclamation point means there's an action available. Right, because we have the shovel key, we can get into the basement. We are here where the green arrow is. Oh, this is the first floor, second floor, and basement. All right, cool. Let's go check out the basement. What the? Oh, another doll. This feels strange. It says, get out. I believe this one's for me. Oh boy. Act two. Well, that was quick. Act one was over pretty, pretty fast. Okay. It's locked. I bet I could force it open. Well, the only thing I have is this knife. Yeah, but... Yeah, it's too thin and fragile. Uh-oh. This looks like somebody's arm. The arm just moved. Oh no. It's just a mannequin's arm. I must be seeing things. Can't get the mannequin's arm out with just my bare hands. Oh my gosh. To-do list. Hide the key to the machine room, prepare the mannequin, set up the wire, set up the bear trap, prepare the barbed wire, prepare the bomb, plant the explosives. Oh my gosh. Looks like Gordon was up to something. Okay, we can play his game. No, no, no. Go back and tell Owen. Locked. What in the world? Oh, I bet it's another one of those phantom objects. Ooh, two of 15. Okay, cool. We have a broom now. Oh, look at the barbed wire is all electrified so we can't get in there. The knob is covered in barbed wire and electrified. Someone doesn't want this door to be opened. Should try something else. Okay. Maybe we can use the broom to get sturdier. Sturdier than a broom? Okay.
Uh oh, the door is closed behind me. Oh no, we're stuck in here. There's someone on the other side. Maybe I can get his attention. I don't think he can hear me. I bet he'd hear you if you broke that glass with the screwdriver or the broom. I don't think he can hear me. <laughs> it gave me the option to try. I don't think he can hear me. All right, all right, cool. Uh, let's see. Let's try using the screwdriver on this. There we go, we found some keys. And we turned off the electricity. object puzzle. Instead of searching for hidden objects, you can play a game of Mahjong. Click here to switch to a game of Mahjong. No, I don't want the game of Mahjong. I want to do the hidden objects. Uh, the previous game just had a skip button where you could just skip puzzles if you didn't want to do them. I didn't skip any, but I do like that option of not having to do the puzzle because sometimes, you know, you just don't want to do it or you just can't figure it out or you're just banging your head against a wall. And, you know, you can just continue. <laughs> it's, it's very helpful. But, uh, no, I don't want to play... I don't want to play Mahjong. Now, this looks like a picture of that guy we saw earlier in, in the files or whatever. What was his name? Zed or something? Alright, measuring tape. Wrench. Is this the protractor? Holding ruler. Is this the handkerchief? Oil can. Pinchers. Bottle. Paintbrush. It says sharp shears, but it's in blue letters. So what that probably means is we're going to have to sharpen the shears with something. These need to be sharpened. Okay. Is there a whetstone or some kind of sharpener? There we go. Sandpaper. And duct tape. Ooh, that was a bit challenging and I liked it. That was cool. You have found sharp shears. Maybe we'll use the sharp shears to cut the barbed wire. Ooh, a bear trap. Let's set it off with the broom. And now we can head into the storage area. Oh, look it! It's that same creepy creature, scarecrow, whatever it is. Let's grab that crowbar. The drawing is similar to the one I saw in the professor's office. Ooh, what's that? Paint can, okay. I better not touch it as long as it's attached to that wire. What wire? Oh, there's handcuffs on the bed. This guy was kinky. Okay, that's interesting. Oh, there's a little diagram here on the wall. This must be how the statue originally looked. A stone mannequin. It's missing three arms. What's this? Catch me if you can. 
Gordon is insane. Is he? Is he though? Are we sure about that? I mean, it appears that way. Maybe he is the most sane person in the asylum. We don't know yet. There's a key in the statue's mouth. I need to find a way to get it out. Okay, is that the key out of here? How did you get here? You don't understand. I did what I had to. The madness won't stop until I end it. Is that Gordon? Whoa. Gordon is inside. I need to get in there. Do you? Do you need to get in there or do you need to get away from him? I mean, honestly. All right, this is probably what we're going to use the key from the mannequin to get out. All right, let's look around here. There's a flashlight. Oh! Broken memories. Another weird object. I don't know what wire they're talking about. If only I had something to make the wire more visible. Oh, okay. Like the paint can? I knew it. There's a fishing line rigged all over the place. It disappears into the ceiling. Okay. A fishing line. Why? Why would there be a fishing line? As long as the wire is there, I better not touch anything. Looking straight into the barrel of a gun. Oh my gosh, is that what that is? I thought it was just pipes in the ceiling. Should I cut it with a paper knife? It's not letting me cut anything. There we go. Now we have an arm. Let's go back and get this arm. Maybe we can use the crowbar. Okay. Oh, and there's more hidden objects in here. We're back again. Now, why would Gordon have a picture of this guy? in the cabinet. That's what I want to know. Hand drill. It says whole hand, but it's in blue. Perhaps I can glue it back with the arm. Okay, I gotta find glue, huh? The arm is missing a palm. Okay. It looks incomplete. All right. We got that. Glasses. What do we need to find? A beer can? Bellows. Triangle. Saw. Is that the spatula? Hammer. Oh, level. Is this the glue? No. Where's the glue? Oh, that's the glue. There's the other arm that we need. And a knife. We have found a mannequin's arm. All right, it has to look like this picture back here, so. There we go. did it! Achievement unlocked! Determined! Now we can take the key and 
Get the heck out of this creepy basement. Into the machine room. You. You'll spoil everything. <coughs> I need to get rid of that smoke. <coughs> the smoke is coming from the furnace. Is he inside the furnace? Or just in a machine beside the furnace? Is this a time machine? Did he build a time machine in the basement? inside the furnace is extremely high. It won't budge. I need to force it open. <coughs> this box is making that smoke. I need to get rid of it. It looks similar to the one I found in the professor's office. The coal is hot. Alright, maybe that'll be important later. Gordon made his way out through this shaft. I need to follow him. All right, well, where's the crowbar? Let's pry it open. Poorly made keypad. Why is it here? It needs a fuse. Okay. Put something in. Throw the handle, get something out. Not sure what that's all about. Okay. Ah, here we go. I saw it in my dreams. Dead. Everyone killed by that demon in the strange hat. Why won't Crow believe me? I'm safe in here. If the demon finds me, I can always use the secret escape route to reach my hideout. Gordon seems to have some issues. Where is his hideout? It's alright, Gordon. I have some issues, too. Paintbrush. Looks like Gordon the Handyman was keen on whiskey. <laughs> okay. Handmade box. How do I open it? Well, probably with some gears. Looks like we gotta find three gears. Uh, here we go. Those look like three gears. I don't like this. Drinker. Did Gordon receive this puppet? Oh, so Gordon's not the one making the puppets? Unless he made one for himself. Puppet gives me the creeps. Yeah, you and me both. Oh no, look it. Everything's getting all wimbly wambly. Looks kind of woozy there for a second. Ah, that looks like a fuse. Yes, it is. But now, what's the keypad code? I need to learn the code. Strange. Coal is hot. Do we need to grab it? You have found coal. Do we need to put it in here? And now we have... I can't just pick it up with my hands. But you just did. Well, I mean, you picked up the coal with your hand, but okay, you can't pick up the coal dust. Okay. I, mean, I don't think we'd use the brush. Oh, no, I guess we would. What in the world? Oh, okay. We're going to try to brush it on here. I guess the buttons that he touches the most often change color. So are we supposed to push the ones that are black or push the ones that are white? I'm assuming the black ones. 
that they're sticking to the that the dust sticks to the keypad because the the buttons are greasy from being touched by him. That's my guess. Yep. All right. We are a fingersmith. <laughs> Why, yes. Yes, I am. Stay away from me. You don't understand. I want to understand, Gordon. Oh, my God. <laughs> ah! What I must be losing that? my mind. Punch achievement. Okay. That was weird. This game is trippy. It's totally trippy. But I like it. I like it. Alright, so we are in a murder mystery at an asylum and we're having weird hallucinations about dancing tree dolls. <laughs> oh, I can't wait to get to the bottom of things. But I'm going to have to stop there for now. Uh, I will definitely continue playing this game. And I hope you will continue with me on this adventure. There will be more to come. Take care of yourselves. Till next time. Bye.